back to the wellness check. This video is going to be an extension off of the last video regarding brain spotting. Uh, so if you haven't looked at the one previous, go check it out. It's about resource spots versus activation spots. What does that mean and what to expect if you or someone that you know is interested in brain spotting? So this video is going to be about what it means if you hear a practitioner, someone that does brain spotting, talk about the X, Y, and Z axis. And so I just wanted to take an opportunity to break it down. It's actually very simple and it makes a lot of sense. And you'll begin to understand the bigger picture of what brain spotting is um, after you learn what X, Y, and Z axis are. So when a brain spotting therapist is working with you to figure out the exact spot that we need to find to process the said event. If we're working on a car accident or whatever trauma or issue or feeling you're experiencing that you wanna work on, we gotta find that spot in your visual field. And we can do that in a couple different ways. Um, but one way that we pinpoint it either ourselves or led by you and what you're experiencing when you come across that field is the x-axis. So that's the one that goes horizontal across. This might be bringing you back to your uh, algebra days, unfortunately, but hang with me. Um, so x-axis, we're going to be helping you scan all the way across from left to right, your peripherals, to see if when you think about the target, does it feel more, less, or the same? As far as activation goes, when you look here versus here, versus here. So what we ask is we say, okay, think of the thing, the target, what we've set up, what we've talked about. When you look over here, about eye level, just right to your, this side of you, what do you notice? Does it feel more activating, less activating? Does it feel the same? And so you'll, you'll sit there for a minute, less than that, and you'll get a pretty quick indication of when I look over here, it feels less. I'm actually not thinking about that at all. I'm thinking about going to the grocery store later. What are we talking about again? Okay, so bring your, your visual field more into the middle. When you look into the middle, what is it that you notice? Does it feel more activating, less activating, or the same? Well, it actually feels a little bit more activating. My heart is starting to race a little bit. That's kind of weird. I'm thinking about the said target a little bit more. Okay, so let's bring your vision over here to this side. Just for comparison, what does it feel like to look over here? And you might hear something like, oh my gosh, it feels really strong over here, really strong. I, I, my heart is beating, I'm starting to sweat, I'm starting to really think about and kind of get in touch with the target. So the x-axis, the whole entire line that we use from the peripheral left to right, right to left, is what we're going to hone in on. And you'll notice that there can be a big difference between right here and right here. So it's really important that we are zooming in on exactly the spot where the client is fe feeling activated. Now, we go into the y-axis too. So the y-axis is the up and down vertical line. So sometimes if I'm working with a client and we did the x-axis and it's like right here, we're still gonna play around with going from that spot exactly up and down from the x-axis. So right here, if you kind of notice that plant on my wall, we're still gonna go up. So if you look up, what do you notice there? Does it feel more, less, or the same? Let's get a gauge for what that feels like. Let's bring it down. Okay, so if we were right here before, what happens if you bring it down, bring your gaze down, and it can go all the way to the floor. What do you notice? More or less are the same. So now we're really helping the client figure out, yes, it's like here on the x-axis, but it's actually up a little bit. So straight up from there, um, it's beginning to feel a little bit more activating, whereas if I bring it down from that line, it's less activating. Okay, so here we are a little bit above that point. Z-axis is really interesting. That is how close or how far so this can really, really make a difference in processing too. Um, a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times, the closer the subject is, the more, or the spot is rather, the more activating it can be. 
So we can kind of play with that a little bit. We found the x-axis right here by this plant. We've gone straight up just a little bit. We know that's activating. So now from this point, bring your vision closer to the screen if we're doing virtual, closer to me if we're in the office. Does that feel more, less, or the same in terms of activation? And then let it kind of go back. Let it go back towards the wall. And what do you notice there? So we're making a very comprehensive and mutual decision based upon what the client's feedback is on where the exact spot for processing is. And that's a really important thing to consider when brain spotting. You want to be on the right spot and it is well worth the effort to help the client, support the client in understanding the responses that they feel in their emotion and in their physiological response as well when looking at different spots. So we have the x-axis and we have the y-axis and we have the z-axis. And if you read or you watched the other video, then you'll also know that we have the activation spot that we just found and we also have the resource spot where they can kind of look down here and give themselves a little break if processing feels too overwhelming in that moment. I just think it's so interesting. I could talk about brain spotting all day, every day. It's such a gift and it has helped so many people. So please reach out if you have any other questions. I am happy to go into more detail about brain spotting and what it can do. Thank you for checking in with your wellness, and I hope you have a wonderful day.